Before I, I, I press record, I was sitting here laughing to myself, man. Look, look, look at this thumbnail. Look at this thumbnail. It's like the guard slid him out for yard time, and he he, he did this. Is what he did right here, y'all. <laughs> I feel like it was funnier in my head. What up? What up? All right, y'all. Welcome back for those that's joining us again, and for those that's seen me for the first time. Hey, man, make yourself at home. I got some Lipton green tea downstairs for you. I haven't looked too much into it because I, I just want to be surprised. Hopefully they got some good surprises in there. As we all know Lady Gaga is in it and I guess we're all assuming that she's going to be Holly Quinn or different different version of Holly Quinn that we've never seen before. So this should be interesting but I ain't going to lie to you. It's been so long. Like I remember the, the old one. Don't get me wrong. I remember the old one. There's so many highlights in that movie. It's, it's hard to forget it. But just to kind of immerse in this trailer, I want to recap the first one, then we can jump into the trailer. But for my one minute man watchers, you can go ahead and skip to this point of the video. And it make me come fast, but I never get embarrassed. In 1981, party clown and aspiring stand-up comedian, Arthur Fleck, lives with his mother, Penny. That's one thing that threw me off. The drunk is pretty old. That's, that's Batman's uncle at this point. Oh, that's another thing. Is Batman gonna be in it, y'all? We'll find out in a minute. In Gotham City. Gotham is rife with crime. I'm guessing he's not gonna be in it. Crime and unemployment, leaving segments of the population disenfranchised and impoverished. Arthur suffers from a medical disorder that causes him to laugh at inappropriate times and depends on social services for medication. After a gang of delinquents attacks Arthur in an alley, his co-worker, Randall, gives him a gun for protection. Arthur meets his neighbor, single mother Sophie Dumont, and invites her to his upcoming stand-up comedy Lally show beats. at a nightclub. While entertaining at a children's hospital, Arthur's gun falls out of his pocket. Randall lies that Arthur bought the gun himself, and Arthur is fired. On the subway, still in his clown makeup, Arthur is beaten by three drunken Wayne Enterprises businessmen. He shoots two in self-defense and executes the third. The murders are condemned yeah, by billionaire. Yeah, I didn't remember any of that, y'all. Arthur intercepts a letter written by Penny to Thomas Wayne, alleging that he is Thomas's illegitimate son and berates his mother for hiding the truth. If, if, if there's any comic book, comic book readers out there, man, is this like actual fact in the comments or this, this is something they added for the movie? Arthur confronts Thomas, who tells him that Penny is delusional and not his biological mother. In denial, Arthur visits Arkham State Hospital and steals Penny's case file. The file says Penny adopted Arthur as a baby and allowed her abusive boyfriend to harm them both. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, you ain't gotta do nothing. I, I got it, I got it. However, Penny alleged that Thomas used his influence to fabricate the adoption and commit her to the asylum to hide their affair. Upset, Arthur returns home and enters. Well, I'll take that back a second time because is it true or is it not true? Sophie's apartment unannounced. Frightened, Sophie tells him to leave. Their previous encounters were Arthur's delusions. Arthur is visited by Randall and fellow ex-colleague Gary. Arthur murders Randall for revenge but leaves Gary unharmed for treating him well in the past. En route to the studio, Arthur is pursued by the two- Oh well, dang man, my memory is- uh, I feel like my memory is messed up because I remember him more as a hero, but dang, he just- just freaking- Arthur kills Murray and is arrested as riots break out across Gotham. One rioter corners the Wayne family in an alley and murders Thomas and his wife Martha, sparing Bruce. Rioters in an ambulance crash into the police car, freeing Arthur, who dances to the cheers of the crowd. At Arkham Asylum, Arthur laughs to himself about a joke and tells his psychiatrist she would not understand it. He runs from the orderlies, leaving a trail of bloodied footprints. But that's that's it was way darker than I than I remembered. I didn't know he just because he killed in innocent people. Like they treated him badly, but still, man, there's no reason to to smush anybody, man. But all right, we all caught up. Hey Fleck, you got a joke for us today? Oh, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to turn my brightness up. But there she go though. We use music to make us whole. 
to balance the fractures within our cells. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Was he chasing? Cause they're like, he was running from himself. Play of the steps. It looks like it's some type of play. I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. Why did that scene warm my heart? It's confusing. I don't know, cause in a way it, it's like a homage to uh, to Heath's Joker. Cause I think if you look back to like a lot of the the trailers, not the trailers, but the, the posters, it was that red mark that's supposed to be a smile. But still, that scene is freaking crazy. <sighs> but they did good with the trailer because it's it's like like I said, it's not an official trailer. It's the Teaser trailer. It was a teaser for sure. <laughs> What's going on with this new YouTube layout, y'all? I don't I don't like this. I don't I don't like it. But I don't know, y'all. It's it's my cause it's, it's so much happening, it's like a, a lot of this can't be reality. A lot of a lot of this gotta be in, in his head. Cause it seems like they're at plays, he's in a play. He's it's it's a lot going on in this teaser trailer, so it's hard to I don't think I can make out is it's gonna be a trial. So seems like Harley Quinn is gonna get out of the asylum or wherever they're at, and she's gonna to try to aid him in his escape or aid him in his trial. Either way, I don't know if I'm gonna to go to the theaters to watch it, but it's definitely something I have to watch this year, 2024. 